Our infrastructure is more robust than ever. I've got an update for you on the Coinapult integration and in a week of total market cap melee within the crypto sphere, not only have we remained what some would call stable, but there's actually been a significant price bump again. Hi, I'm Amanda B. Johnson. Thank you for joining me on Dash Detailed. And let's get started with business and headlines. So Dash got a mention in the publication Payment Source, and Payment Source covers pretty much the entirety of the payments industry. And it's actually a rarity that they'll mention cryptocurrency. So the context here was in a piece entitled The Morning Briefing, written by contributor John Adams, and he says Dash has debuted on the Panama-based broker and virtual currency wallet Coinapult expanding the emerging virtual currency as an alternative to Bitcoin. The partnership will enable Dash investors to buy and sell against 20 currencies. And now that brings us to the Coinapult integration, which is to say, where is it? <laughs> uh, to find out what was going on uh, with the sort of a snag or a snafu that seemed apparent, I reached out to Coinapult CEO Gabe Zukenik again, and he tells me, both the integration and the testing of the integration have been completed. However, we are still setting up our live Dash key structure here internally. I don't have an exact timeline for this. However, once it's complete, the launch will be live shortly thereafter. Furthermore, in headlines, uh, Dash received another mention in Irish Tech News. Now, the context for this is that the CEO of Bitcart, you know, the service which now accepts Dash for 20% off Amazon gift cards, Graham Debarra. Apparently, Mr. Debarra is rather active in the Ireland tech scene, and recently he hosted a conference called Opera Incubator. And when Irish Tech News came to interview him at the conference, he mentioned the new Dash integration. Let's move on to some businesses. There are two businesses accepting Dash that we've never talked about before here on the show. The first is Crypto Coffee, and it appears that they have a particular roast that has been made just for Dash lovers. It's called Dash Baby, and it's listed as an Italian style espresso blend. And the second business you actually may have heard of if you've been around the crypto sphere very long because Pex Peppers has been accepting cryptocurrencies for payment for a long time. So they've got everything from habanero to chipotle to hot peach sauces, and they use the coin payments gateway to accept payments. Finally, in headlines, I had the privilege of reappearing for my second time on the YouTube series Crypto, uh, where I spoke with Omar. And we talked about everything from the, uh, Omar reminded me that the first time he and I talked, Dash was $14 a coin, so that was interesting reminiscing. Uh, we also covered, you know, wh where and why are these new business integrations cropping up in Dash that led to chat about the block cipher APIs. We talked about whether Evolution is on track for delivery, and there was even some technical comparisons between Dash and its privacy-centric competitors. Moving on to developments. Danny Sessoms, co-host of The Crypto Show, as you may know, has recently published this sort of map outlining everywhere he intends to stop on his cannabis outreach tour, where he will be uh, pitching Bitcoin and Dash selling ATMs. So you'll see from this map of the first and second legs that he'll be covering much of the Western United States. And Danny even sent me these pictures, one of his branded truck and the other of his trailer. Elsewhere in developments, you probably didn't miss it, but just in case you did, uh, be sure to check out Evan Duffield's appearance on the Spotlight series from last week, in which he discussed a project that he is working on making live that he called a sort of skunk works uh, that he would like to use to research and develop ways to future-proof Dash. We discussed everything from how to hire human talent in, a, in a, a system that seems to grow exponentially when hiring humans is much more difficult to grow exponentially, to a sort of plan for specialized hardware that Evan was talking about for something like three years into the future that I dubbed a sort of bank in the box. 
And finally, in network and price, let's look to those markets, shall we? Uh, Dash is trading at $95.26, and this is up roughly 12% from what it was last week. Our trade volume over the last 24 hours is approximately 35.4 million US dollars worth, which is up 55% from last week. Like I said, the cryptosphere has been going mad. Our coin supply is just under 7.3 million coins, and this makes for a market capitalization of 694 million US dollars. Let us take a look at that on our chart, shall we? And moving on to our network statistics, like I said, uh, more robust than ever because we have an all time high of both masternode count and hash rate this week. Our masternode count is 4,513. Check that out in the lifetime context. And our hash rate is 3.55 terahashes per second. Again, check that out in a lifetime context. That is your Dash Detailed for this week. It's been actually a slower week for news, but as they sometimes say, no news may actually be good news. Uh, before I let you go, I want to extend a thank you to both the Masternode owners and some non-Masternode owners who provided detailed and pointed feedback on a pre-proposal that I made recently regarding the future of Dash Detailed. I appreciate the time that you took to uh, tell us what you want from us. And I wanted to let you know that we intend to come back to the table with something that we think you're going to like a lot more. So thank you to our employers from your employees. Come back this Friday for the next in our spotlight series, which will take place, uh, or rather, which will be with Fernando Guterres, who is an OG from the Dash Core team, and he deals primarily with legal issues affecting Dash around the world, so you probably won't want to miss it. All right, I'll see you then, and of course, if not then, I'll see you next Wednesday.